Chief Dewey. Hello, Harry, how are you? The last time we spoke to you, sir, uh, you, you talked about preparations for the election. And just a just few days away, and you being a coordinator of the People's Democratic Party for Saturday, uh, tell us uh, how is the uh, preparations and uh, how upbeat are you uh, going into the election? Uh, our preparations is something I want to say has been so hectic. Yes, uh, I quite agree. Uh, that you people know me uh, as one of those uh, who, was, who has always been very close to the grassroots. And uh, any election that consigns campaigning at the grassroots has always been my, watch, my, my watchword. Uh, although hectic, but uh, it's a terrain that uh, a very familiar terrain to me. So as a coordinator, we've been able to, to governize I've been able to reach out to the people, that is the electorates, and uh, it's looking very, very good for us, the PDP, and uh, by the grace of God, it shall end the praise on Saturday 18th of March, of this, this Saturday. Let's uh, draw, you, draw your attention now to uh, a trending uh, uh, interview by APC Chieftain in YouTube West. Uh, we're talking about uh, Chief uh, Dr. Jerry Wilson for a uh, condemning uh, the endorsement of uh, Oguriwuri by his older brother, the former UPU uh, President General, uh, Chief Joe Omene, saying that uh, the election deltans should focus on their best and uh, the, the Ussi Federal constituency has no right to say that uh, the election is now their turn. You are in Saple and you are, and you are from Ussi. How would you react to this statement, sir? In any case, uh, I think that statement was uh, quite... Uh, quite uh, unfortunate coming from uh, somebody that uh, I've always said in this, in every of my interview concerning him, uh, Dr. Wissi Namene, in every of my interview concerning him, I've always said that he's someone that I have tremendous uh, uh, respect for. But uh, this statement right now, this one is uh, quite, quite unfortunate, really, really unfortunate. Uh, and uh, concerning uh, someone that the whole of the whole of Rubo uh, had respect for the person of uh, Chief Joe Amene. That man is a man that I can tell you that he's not a man that you can say okay, maybe for pecuniary uh, reasons that the man has been bought over or that the man uh, uh, there is something that uh, that is influencing the man. This is really really unfortunate. We know Joe Amene to be a man of impeccable characters. We know him when he was. Uh, UPU President General, certain things that he did that may even annoy some of the other robots, but these things he did them after after we realized that he did them out of sheer uh, 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 conviction, out of sheer respect, and out of sheer love for the robot people. Now, adopting Sheriff of Oberoi by his giving reasons, look at them very very critically. critically. Delta Central has three federal uh, constituencies. That is the Ugele constitu uh, federal constituency comprising of Ugele North, Ugele South, and Udu local government. The Etio federal constituency comprising of Etio West and Etio uh, East. And the Okbe Uwe Sapple federal constituency. That is Yusu that you just mentioned. The Ugolis, you know very well, through Hebrew, they've got in governor. The Ethiop, through Iburi, they've got in governor. So if you are coming to equity, would you come to equity with clean hands? Now again, he talked about credibility. If you put all the candidates together, if you put all the candidates together, go and look at the artisanate of Shereshari Vobori. If you are talking of credibility, then you should single him out. You should single him that is the only Urobo man that has not robbed the name of Urobo on the mud, on the surface of this earth, or if you are talking of uh, 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 Ni Ni Nigeria. is the only man that you can say that has closeness to the people. Is the only man who is a grassroots delta, pan delta. 
He's the only man who does not have house abroad. He does, he's the only man who does not stay abroad. Every weekend after work at Ataba, you see him at Osubi. He does not go abroad to go and spend weekend. He does not go to America to go and charge his phone and come back. The next, uh, the, 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 the next day. So among these people, who do you want to say is credible, credible enough to rule that state? Is it those ones that has houses in, uh, in America? That the, tomorrow their wives, their children, they are all in America. They don't have any stake here in Delta State. The only stake they have here in Delta State is to come and loot Delta State. They want to condemn PDP. And meanwhile, there are those that has that that, that we, are, we, we are bringing PDP to their knees before God removed them away from PDP. Look at the whole of them who mentioned them, name, name them one by one. This head, wishing a man, he was chairman of Ethiopia's local government. What did he do? What did he do? It was during this time that Ethiopia. West, Mosoka particular, in particular, where it comes from. They have not had light. What is it that they are even saying, saying that APC should come and rule Delta State? What has APC provided at the national level? What have they done to Nigerians at the national level that will make any sane human being to say he wants to go and cast his, cast his vote for APC? This is really, really unfortunate. Coming from a man that we all respect, and this one called boy to his the senior brother that robo the whole of robo have tremendous respect for somebody to to to, to ascend to the throne of UPU president general it's not a it's not a, it's, it's not a my minor it's not something anybody can toy with so for any statement that Joe Amene has made they are correct statement concerning the equity the equitable distribution of power in data central that is number one then two to talk of the statement coming from Wilson himself. Then Sheriff Oborewori is the only credible candidate that should be elected on the 18th. Grant, but by the grace of God, coming this 18th, debtors will true part to go and vote for a man with the street credibility. I've always said it for those that are condemning him, condemning Sheriff Oborewori. The sun of righteousness shall rise for him on Saturday, 18th March, 2023. Uh, we saw what happened during the presidential election, the, the uprise of the obedience movement, how they delivered it out in the entire state. Are you, are, are you sure that, uh, do you think we are going to see a repeat of this come March 18th? The OB, the OB movement is a fallout of the failed government of the APC. Everybody know it now. The OB movement is a fallout of the failed APC government. People are tired. They are tired of the APC government, in quote. But meanwhile, the same APC government that has rigged out all other, all other candidates, the same APC government is now wooing the OB, the OB movement to say they should come and vote for them. Is that not a, a stupidity of the highest order? Eh? Is that not wickedness? But let me tell you, that uh, movement is a movement to liberate the country. Delta State is, has always been in safe hands. So by Saturday, those some people, they are trooping out to vote sheriff. Because they only... They only made a story, they only told a story, a story concerning the present federal government. We have not seen this kind of thing before. This present federal government, everybody is tired, especially the youth. They were tired of the federal government, the APC government, in everywhere they are. It is, you, you, you will see what they will do. Anywhere the APC are, in this, the whole surface of this, uh, of, 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 of this country, they are going to remove all of them. But data is in savings. I can assure you. And you will see the result on Saturday. Let me remind you again that by Saturday, the sun of righteousness 
shall rise for right honorable sheriff Francis Orokwedo for him for the elections. <laughs>